This is the story Santa's Christmas with a Mask, written by Divya Mohan. Little Millie and Milo were so excited that they posted their letters to Santa in July, but little did they know that the letters were lost in the post box for such a long time. Would they reach Santa in time for Christmas Day? Far away in the heart of the North Pole, Santa sat and watched the news. There's a virus in town, the reporter said, as Santa jumped up, almost losing his shoes. A lockdown in the North Pole? Stage four restrictions apply? That meant that Santa couldn't pack his sleigh, let alone fly. No one could leave their homes but for medicine and groceries. This news had Santa feeling so nervous, he was weak at the knees. How would he get all his gifts all packed and ready for Christmas? He even had to shut down the toy factory. Oh, what a fuss! Santa waited patiently for his factory's reopening time. He would have to employ extra elves to meet the Christmas deadline. Time ticked by and before long it was August, just four months to go. Yet lockdown continued as Santa looked out at the snow. Oh dear, he cried, whatever are we going to do to be ready in time for Christmas? So many presents are due. Santa and his elves had to start working soon. The letters were piling up. Was Christmas doomed? There was no other choice but to start work now and Santa suddenly thought that he knew exactly how. He and the elves would simply work from home, getting through the presents without needing to roam. Santa immediately set up a video call with his top elves. Then they came up with a Christmas plan between themselves. They started making toys at home, but what about the candy? All the sweet shops were closed and that wasn't very handy. Santa called up his old friend, Mr Chalk, the candy, fa candy factory owner. He said that the factory was closed too. Oh, what a disaster. Fortunately, the candy makers were working from home too. They took Santa's order and said, we'll deliver it to you. Two days before Christmas and they had made so many toys, candies, chocolates, books and activities for all the good girls and boys. But then Santa received a last minute knock at the door. The postman had a huge pile of letters and he said there were more. Nearly half of the children had not yet had their presents made. Good heavens, we need a miracle now, Santa fervently prayed. After a video meeting with the chief elves, a plan was hatched. They ordered thousands of gifts online, next day dispatched. Within 24 hours, the gifts had arrived at the North Pole. Just in sight time for Santa to go, that meant no lumps of coal. Then, disaster struck, as all international flights were banned. Does this mean that reindeer delivery can no longer stand? Santa called up the president and asked for special permission. All the kids are waiting for us to deliver their Christmas presents on our Christmas mission. The president said, you can fly your sleigh, but only if you wear a mask. Ho, ho, of course, Mr. President, Santa said, you only need ask. Santa had already handmade enough masks for his team. He made sure he had everything, then took off like a stream. The next morning, Millie and Milo woke up with a feeling of glee to find that their presents were placed safely under the tree. That's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it.